I am Kangtunian Bonius, Factor-in-Chief of the Ebonhot Agency of the East Empire Company, at your service. Ebony Trade. Unless House Lalu lowers prices, my hands are tied. Right. Well, I mean... What if I... <laughs> hey, what if I told you it was in your best interest to start buying Ebony from us instead of House Rhetoran? Look, you know, I may have heard a thing or two about House Rhetoran and their pseudonym mine. I may have been around in there looking around a bit. <laughs> Let me tell you, Mr. Ponius, the working conditions in there. Well, they're murder. <laughs>When we had last left, the prisoner, bound by prophecy, they had undertaken yet another order of business from Neleno Dorvain at the Lalu Council Manor Hall in Balmora. Yes, this time, House Lalu was eyeing the lucrative and vast ebony Mar the market of ebony exports in Vardenfell. They were specifically eyeing one of their competitors, House Redoran's pseudonym mine, and it needed to be removed. And so the prisoner bound by prophecy was sent out to the pseudonym e uh, ebony mine, I almost said egg mine, ebony mine, and took out some of the competition. However, wanting to do the very best job possible, the prisoner also sought out one particular person in Ebonheart. This is the Elder Scrolls III, Morrowind, Tamriel Rebuilt. Welcome back! Whoa. There we go. <laughs> also, it's Morrowind Mondays! Whoa. <laughs> Do you like that? I did a little rudimentary bit of inventory management, not very much by uh, pawning off a few things to what's his butt down there. Anyway. Useless creatures. Oh my gosh. Let's be on our way over to... Who was it again? What was their name? Yes. Kanch... Kankchunian Ponius. Ponius. At the East Empire Company in Ebonheart. Let's do it. We need to get to... Jeez, how should we do this? I guess we go, yeah, we go to Vivek, and then we head out, because I was wondering, maybe it's quicker actually to go to Balmora and then take the, the Silt Strider and then take the boat? But this is way cheaper, right? Yeah, let's go to Vivek. Patience is limited. There we are. Let's see. Do, are there any enchanting Outlander, but vendors here? I don't even remember. Hmm. Like, specifically in here. I know there's, like, an alchemy vendor, but I can't remember if enchanting is some... Oh, yeah, here we go. All right, yeah, let's get rid of this real quick. Don't need any of them. There we are. Lovely. Should we get rid of some of this stuff? Do we have any need to hold on to these? I think we're quite all right. Yeah. Offer. There we are. So what's this regarding? Let's see. Did we already pull everything out of here? Yes, <laughs> we I'll certainly did. Okay. How's our equipment looking, by the way? Do we need to do a little bit of repairing? Yes, we do. Why not? There we are. Beautiful. Great. And then, let us head on out. Let's pin this again. I think... I'm not sure if OpenMW... It feels like it does not remember me pinning it at the top right. But it, maybe it remembers it too well. Because it may be the case that I unpin the map whenever I go to get a screenshot for the thumbnail and all that. <laughs> and it may be remembering that I've unpinned it when I haven't even saved the game, right? That very well may be the case, why I have to continually keep pinning the map up there. I think that's probably it. Alright, over here. Let's see if we can't just jump down there, right? Oh god. <laughs> I don't know if we can make it. Uh, have we made this jump before? I can't remember. All right, here we go. We need to go for that boat over there, right? Oh, shit. Geronimo! Oh, it's gonna be so fucking close! Oh, fuck! Oh. <laughs> All right, 
it it didn't work out. <laughs> maybe we just need to do it from a different angle, huh? Let's see. Can I maybe like land on that and not die instantly? Let's take a look. Let's have a look. Huh? Oh, oh, it hurts a lot. <laughs> okay. And I cannot sleep here, but I can. I can probably jump directly into the water from here. There we go. Nailed it. Aced it. Whew. We can't go. Oh, yeah, we could go in that if we wanted to. We just need to watch out now for a fish or a dreg or anything that's liable to one shot me right now. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> okay. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's good. Uh oh. I can't get up here. It's too steep. Oh, there we are. So I was about to get accosted by a bazillion slaughterfish just all swarming around. Like you've thrown some fish food into a pond and you just see them begin to swim all up at once. Start attacking one another, eating one another just to eat the the fish food. Speak, oh traveler. My gosh, one eats the fish food and then a bigger one comes by and eats that fish. And then a slightly bigger fish comes by and eats that fish. And then a big shark comes by and eats that one. And then a giant, like, whale comes by and eats the other one? Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hey, hey, Ano Andaro. Oh, look, you have some interesting stuff to say? These are Vivix Docks, Outlander. I'm the shipmaster and I manage all the seagoing traffic here. Tell me your destination. If you're outward bound or if you're new to Vivek, I can steer you to the local services or to a specific place in Vivek. If you're looking for someone in particular, I might be able to help. It's very nice of you, but I am actually looking to leave this place. Destination? My ship, the Frost Ghost, can carry you from Vivek to Abenhart, La Ode, Molagma, and Tel Brenora. Do you have anything to say about anything in particular? Let's see, my trade? I'm a shipmaster. I can transport you by ship to various destinations for a modest tree. Let's travel. Ebonheart. There we are. Good. Still can't rest. A little dangerous, but hey. We'll make do, I think. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Now, where were you at specifically? At the East Empire Company. Okay. Let's so see. What do you I, want? I never remember exactly where their offices are. Oh, shit. North Warehouse. It's going up here. Could this be it? Company Hall? That might be it. Let's do a quick save and ask around a bit. Look at this dude. And the funny I really hat. Don't have time for this, so but also, at the same time? Yo, look at his fucking guns out. Damn. All right. Gildel. Let's see. Pleased to meet you, Lyle Schnub, and welcome to the Imperial Town of Ebenhart. We're always eager for news here. Have you heard the latest rumors? Or you care to share a little secret? One hears things here and there. Oh my gosh. What a dude. Tell me about Ebenhart. Ebenhart is the Imperial Headquarters for Vardenfeld District, and a busy seaport. Duke Vadam Dren is the district's ruler and emperor's representative. The duke lives in Castle Ebenhart. The district council chambers and the Hawkmoth Legion garrison are also at Castle Ebenhart. The East Empire Company buildings and docks are outside the castle, facing Vivek, to the east. Tomorrowland. All right. Background? I am Geldal, ar archer and protector of the Fighters Guild. What do you have to say about the company, East Empire Company? The East Empire Company is a monopolistic mercantile enterprise chartered by the Emperor and managed by a board of directors appointed by the Emperor. The company has sole authority to trade in certain goods like flint, raw ebony, gla raw glass, uh, and Dwemer artifacts. And it also enjoys favorable tariffs and regulations for import and export of other common and exotic goods like quama eggs, marshmallow pulp, saltrice, and telvani bug musk. 
Interesting. And we heard about um, their authority, or was it the favorable tariffs already with regards to like local alcohol, right? With regards to Flynn right there. But what is interesting is that raw glass. I did not know that. Right? The biggest one that you always hear about is the Dwemer artifacts, right? They keep that shit on lockdown. But really wild to hear about the raw glass. Is that to control, like... Like, armor and weapons manufacturing? Right? In case they have, like, a... Some sort of, I don't know... Enemy force or whatever? Or they want to track all that stuff? I don't know. But in saying that, there's loads of shit... Like, I'm assuming it's the glass that people make weapons and armor out of, right? But also, we definitely know that, like, there's other shit you can make out of them, right? Especially in the case of Ebony, right? It's gotta be more than just that, right? Because of the the presence here of Flynn. Like, why do they want to control Flynn? And why specifically Flynn? Like, it's definitely the best of the Vardenfellian... <laughs> Is that how you say it? The Vardenfell... Vardenfell's different alcohol... Right? It's definitely the best because it has zero drawbacks and has pretty low weight. Right? Although I'm a big proponent of Sujama, you know, it's got its drawbacks. But why? Huh. Alright, continue. Because of its wealth and the favor of the Emperor, the East Empire Company wields considerable influence in the Duke's administration. Right. I wonder if the, like, board of directors appointed by the Emperor still exists in Skyrim, right? Or in Skyrim times. Hmm. I'd have to imagine, right? Why would they have any reason to change that shit around? Huh. I would love to see Elder Scrolls VI explore more to do with the East Empire Company and, like, how truly fucked up <laughs> of a situation that all that is, right? Especially with the fact that that it's it's all entirely controlled by the Emperor, right? Like like we talked about earlier with um, with regards to House Slalu and how much they claim that they love like the free market and all that, right? The East Empire Company is cut of a very similar cloth. Hmm. All right. Let's see. What do you have to say about Vadam Dren? Duke Vadam Dren, Duke of Ebenhard, is head of the Grand Council and Uriel the Seventh's representative on Vardenfell. How about latest rumors? With all the unrest in Cyrodiil City, a trooper told me they might have to recall the legions to protect the Emperor. Unrest in Cyrodiil City? Uriel Septim is sick, and wizards say his heir, Geldal Septim, and the younger Septims, Enman and Ebel, are just doppelgangers placed in the household during Jagger Tharn's tenure. As Imperial Battle Mage, they say the guard cha charged a mob demanding. They say the guard charged a mob demanding destruction of the false heirs. Lots of folks were killed. Oh shit. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. So, if not for the Oblivion Crisis, did Uriel Septim have an entire, like, false lineage. That way they could still have some... exert some control over the Empire. The Tamrielic Empire. Hmm. Yeah, Geldal Septim and the Younger Septims as well just got doppelgangers. Interesting. Which is really wild that we didn't ever hear it. At least I don't think we did. That we did, but anyway, it's really wild that we didn't hear anything to that effect in in Oblivion, right? From like Mankar Cameron or any of the the different dissident groups or usurpers, I would say, right? They're seen as very they're they're looked upon very favorably, right? And it's kind of understandable given you know it's <laughs> the the crisis of a demonic invasion, but at the same time. It is very fortuitous timing that all this would go down and sort of end up wiping away how fucked up this would be if this were true, right? If this turned out to be true in order for them to contain or maintain power 
not necessarily through their family, but through trusted confidants willing to pose as their family, right? Rather than have it go to a different lineage of of uh, emperors or whatever, right? Hmm. Are there any other lineages around? I don't think so. Like, by, by the time Skyrim rolls around, it's a whole new slew of names, right? There's no one of any of the past lineages still alive, as far as we know, right? I'm not sure about that, but I think so. All right. Very, very interesting shit. All right. Let's check out the company hall. Huh. Go ahead, stranger. Do you all have anything to say about this dude I'm looking for? You want something? Jazir? What do you want? Okay. How about you? No, we can't ask about... Okay. Hmm. Yeah. All right. We need to continue onward then. Let's see. I guess it's up here. Is it over by where the Duke chills out and everything? That this Cantonius Ponius dude chills out? <laughs> Cantonius Ponius. I don't know. Huh. Can we ask this guy? Maybe? No. Oh, look, yes. Cantonian Ponius. Greetings, citizen Lyle Schnub. I'm Pil P Pilus Amatius. This is Ebenhard, named for Castle Ebenhard and the Duke of Ebenhard, Duke Vadam Dren, by grace of our Emperor and the Emperor's representatives, here in Vardenfeld District. Can I help you? Tell me about Ponius. He is in the East Empire Company offices, the large building down by the docks. Oh. Okay, so we just missed the offices. Okay. How about, what do you have to say about the Duke? The Dren family has been prominent for many generations in House Lalu. What do you have to say about House Lalu? House Lalu is one of the three Dunmer Great Houses with holdings on Vardenfell. House Lalu has always been loyal to the Emperor and the Empire. Lalu welcomes Imperial Law and the Legions, and freedom of trade and religion. We still respect the old Dunmer ways, the Ancestors, the Temple, and the Noble Houses. But times change, and the Empire changes with the times. House Lalu hopes to live in peace and harmony with the other races, and share in the growth and prosperity of the Empire. Hmm. Alright, let's see. What else do you have to say about them? The Great Houses. Morrowind is dominated by five noble Great Houses. Three have holdings on Vardenfell, House Redoran, House Lalu, and House Telvani. Let's hear the takes of someone who's very much into the Empire and all that, right? What do you have to say about Redoran? House Redoran is one of the three great houses on Vardenfell. The Redoran prize the duty, gravity, and piety. They believe in a light, careless life. They believe a light, careless life is not worth living. If you want to know more, go to Outrun, the seat of power. How about Telvanni? <laughs> Not much to say, huh? Okay. House Telvani is one of the three Dunma Great Houses, with holdings on Vardenfell. <laughs> That's it. Okay. What do you have to say about Dunmer? Hmm. I think we've heard this before. Right? Yeah. I believe we've we heard about this back in Sedanin. Or Pelagiad, at least. Alright, well. Yo, dude, where's the... <laughs> Where's the fucking main office at? Huh. This is al always my trouble with Ebenhart. Is finding anything. Always always the buildings with this kind of... With the Empire's... Architectural style, right? Because it's all very... It's all very gentrified, I guess you would say. <laughs> is this... Is this like the example of gentrification within the Elder Scrolls? When, when all these castles and shit get built? <laughs> it feels like it, huh? Alright. Let's see. I feel like you're full of shit, dude, telling me that the offices are around here. I feel like you're absolutely full of it. Or maybe it's that this other hall is not connected? Maybe that's the case. Right, we went in there. How about up here? Let's have a quick look. Oh. Speak quickly. 
Oh, look. This guy looks important. Nope. Bullrun. If I can help, I will, but don't take too much time. Well, you don't even have anything to say. I remember you were involved in some kind of quest. Oh, hey. <laughs> it's the other room. Okay, maybe they are in this building and we just haven't... Oh, this has got to be... Yes. yes. Kinktoonian Ponius. Indeed. I'm pretty sure the quest involved that ledger and everything, right? Can't remember for certain, though. All right. I am Kangtunian Bonius, factor-in-chief of the Ebonhot Agency of the East Empire Company, at your service. Ebony Trade. Unless House Slalu lowers prices, my hands are tied. Right. Well, I mean... What if I... <laughs> hey, what if I told you it was in your best interest to start buying Ebony from us instead of House Rhetoric? Look, you know... I may have heard a thing or two about House Redoran and their suit in it mine. I may have been around in there looking around a bit. <laughs> Let me tell you, Mr. Ponius, the working conditions in there. Well, they're murder. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see. How about a hundo gold, huh? Oh, oh no. Uh oh. How about this? Oh my gosh, he's a big money man. Okay. Jeez, a hundred might not be able to do it. Okay, there we go. Ebony trade. Well, if you think you can make me a better offer. Oh, fuck. How high do we need to get this shit? Oh, dear lord. Okay, let's wait here for an hour. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Huh. Do I have any other way to go about doing this? <laughs> to, like, butter him up any? I don't think I do. We're just gonna have to drop some money on him. Alright. Bribe. Shit. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Huh? Oh, dear lord. This guy's impossible. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's see. How, how far back can we load? Let's see here. Yeah, let's load right here. Good. Okay. <laughs> Any time now. Let's rest a bit, get our shit up to max, right? Okay. Good. I almost feel like we should go buy some, like, Telvani bug musk or something, you know? Jeez. Where could we even get some around here? Because how much does it cost? Surely it won't cost more than I'm gonna have to dump on this fucking guy. Jeez. There we go. Got him up to 50. Oh shit, 60. We'll check again at 75. Ooh! Oh my gosh, we've just had a run of good luck. 75, come on. Oh, yes! Okay, you convinced me. Go back and tell House Lalu that I will sign a contract for another year. Feels very fitting that as a representative of House Lalu, that we... we convince him by just giving him 400 gold. <laughs> Alright. What else do you have to say about... You already convinced me. You don't need to ask me again. Alright. Good. Hopefully he doesn't ask us about what happened to... Yes. Whatever that guy's Hurry name was. <laughs> to Nellen Drellen. I don't even remember. Okay. Let's see. Let's head on up over here. What's our best course of action for getting back to... Back to Balmora. Good lord. Hopefully we make enough money to... Justify that 4 hundo we just trumped. Let's see. Travel over to... Oh look, we can go to Old Ebonheart. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, let's go to the Foreign Quarter and then we should be able to Seek silk stride Up over and away to Balmora, right? Yeah. Excellent. Hey, how'd our health go up? We didn't ever rest any, did we? Yeah, weird. What sent our health up? Am I, like, tripping balls? I thought we had less health. Huh. Weird. When did we rest? I thought we only exclusively waited. Oh, that's very strange to me. Okay. Why walk when you can ride? Let's see. Let's travel out to... Do you, do you have anything to say about being a caravanner? No. How about your trade? My trade. 
I'm a caravanner. I transport you by Silt Strata to various destinations for a modest fee. Destinations? This Silt Strata can carry you from Vivek to Saran, Sedanin, Balmora, and Molagmar. Tell me about the Strider. Yeah, this is all the stuff that we've heard about before. Yeah, they manipulate the exposed organs and tissues. Poor fucking things. Alright. Balmora! There we are. Where would you like to go? Maybe that, um, that gentle hum that we always hear, almost like a wail. Like those. Maybe that's them crying, right? You ever think about that? What if that lovely nostalgic sound of the silt strider, like humming in the distance and all that? What if that's them fucking crying, dude? What if they're really fucking, like, in agony from people pulling on them? I don't know. <laughs> Good God. I don't know. I mean, maybe it doesn't hurt them as much. Like, it's definitely, like, make no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's definitely not a great thing to do to them, right? Pulling on their exposed tissue and organs. But maybe it's, maybe it's not quite as bad as it sounds because, you know, they they stay around. They don't go running off or anything, right? They're gigantic creatures. They could run away or, like, attack whoever's trying to tame them or whatever, right? Listen to me. <laughs> I've been in House Lalu for too long. Listen to me, like, trying to come up with excuses. <laughs> also, just recognize how we got our health back. Fast travel. It counts as Welcome, resting, friend. right? We extend you our warm regards. All right, before we do this, let's see. I convinced Ken... Okay, yeah. Nothing of interest. Is the Ebony Trade doing better now? Ebony Trade? I heard that you shut down the Sudanit mine, and had a few words with Kangtunian Ponius. Excellent work, Lyle Schnub. Take these one thousand drakes as a gift from House Lalu. And why not take this glass ar- Oh my gosh! Take this glass armor as a special bonus. Wow, glass armor for all I've done? <laughs> I don't mind if I do. Boots, cuirass, and greaves? Wow. Oh my goodness, what else do you have to say about the mine? The mine is still shut down. How about Ponius? He is a local factor of the East Empire Company. He's usually an Ebonheart. How about the trade? You help protect House Lalu's ebony trade, lawman. All right. Let's see. Any more business? All right, finally. I would have thought that the one before last would have been the, the finale from you. But I, I guess not. Let's see. I have no more business for you. Why not speak with Crassius Curio or Adrino Arethi? They both live in the Lalu Canton in Vivec. Curio Manor is in the plaza, and Adrino lives in the Wasteworks. Tell me about Curio, we already know. Yeah, we've heard this before. And Adrino Arethi. She's a loyal member of House Lalu who lives in Vivec. She may have some business opportunities for you. I almost feel like we should start with... Although Crassius Curio is definitely like the more famed member, right? Especially given his his works that precede him i almost feel like we should start with this with the seemingly smaller fry of adrino who lives in the waste works you know and work our way up although we could definitely skip directly to crassius i kind of feel like my internal canon wants me to begin with adrino arethi or edrino yeah let's do that 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 feels oh shit we're over encumbered of course Okay, let's do a quick save, just in case there's some weird texture bug, and we crash upon equipping these glass greaves and all that. Looking pretty fucking good, though. Look at this. Holy shit, we really skipped up. Right? <laughs> good god, man. From all the- from chitin cuirass to glass. Goodness gracious. And natch leather boots, just as well. Okay, hmm. Let's try and do a little bit of repair. Oh, we'll need to. Right, of course. Uh, let's see. Let's drop ten of these right here. Yeah, that's good enough. 
Okay, and then we can pawn off and sell off the rest in and around town. We can drop in the at the Fighters Guild and sell off some of our excess armor. Right? Should be fine. Should be a -okay. What do you think of Balmora, Outlander? Oh, I think it's... I think it's wonderful. I love it here. It's the most beautiful pile of rocks I've ever seen. <laughs> Let's head over here. There we are. Good. So what's this regarding? Okay, I'm listening. Hey, dude. How about some shoes and a chest plate? Do you have anything else of interest to me? Hmm. Nah, not in particular. All right. There we go. Good. Lovely. Should we pull anything out of this? Oh, we already did. Worth checking nonetheless. Okay. How do we want to do this? Let's just take the guild guide, I think, right? And then we can run what over to the about? lower levels and all that. That seems like a plan. All right. And we are a, a member. We should be able to rest here. Or I forget, did they get mad if we rest here? I can't remember. Let's see, there we go. Let's rest until healed. Good. Hooray, we didn't get kicked out. <laughs> All right. Yes. Let's do a quick travel over here to Vivek. You yes, have friend. something to say to me? Beautiful. All right. And then, how do we want to get to... Did she say the Underworks or Waste Works? Huh. Nolano Dorraine thanked me for shutting down Sudanid Mine. I think it was Waste Works, not Underworks, right? Adreno Arethi. Okay. Do I know you? Let's head on down there. Like I said, it just feels it feels better to me with us like with regards to a sense of progress. Okay, have we fully looked around here? Oh, we're in the we're in the foreign quarter. Okay, yeah. Whoops. My bad. Okay. You know, I say how unremarkable a lot of it is, but uh so too is is Vivek. But I feel like that's unintentional. I feel like Vivek looks very samey as a result of a limitation of the hardware, right? And I feel like shit like Ebonheart might very well intentionally look generic, right? And certainly it's it's like one of the most generic things in all of Morrowind the game, right? It's very much like standard fantasy, which it seems feels very weird compared to all the wild shit of Morrowind, you know? Okay, let's see. Which one of these... Oh, shit. <laughs> Which one do we want? Hmm, could it be this one over here? Look. There's, like, shifting scales on that one. That's gotta be it. You know? That's gotta be it. Let's do a quick save. You think I can make the jump now? I'm a little less encumbered, but that... Well, I don't know. Am I? <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> no, let's let's play it safe. Let's play it safe. We'll play it safe. I don't think I don't think we're, we're we've got that much excess speed to be just jumping off the shit yet. <laughs> Good lord, that's gonna be one of the only shames about this playthrough is we're not going to have. Well, no, no, no. Right, because that's one of the that is one of the rules that I wanted to make for myself. Right. At some point, the only custom enchanted thing that we'll have in this run will be for the sake of movement, right? Some method of traveling around the area, right? I'm thinking maybe we don't do super jump this time. Maybe we'll do like extra run speed or something along those lines, right? Because I don't want to, I feel like jumping and essentially flying through the Tamriel rebuilt stuff could, you know, spoil us on a site. I don't know how carefully crafted a lot of stuff is, right? So we'll we'll take it on foot, I think. All right, head on over here, and I'm fairly certain that this has got to be. I mean, who else could this be? Certainly not one of the saints. I don't think House Telvani's gonna go around with some tipping scales, right? That screams House Lalu to me. All right, over here. You know what is a little weird? 
the fact that uh, Drace and Indoril do not have any cantons. Like, I know they're meant to have a diminished presence here on Vardenfell, the island itself. But still, you'd expect a canton or at least some sort of I will listen out, office or whatever in the foreign quarter or somewhere. Right? I don't know. All right. I, oh, you know what? Do you think maybe originally the two saint cantons were Indoril and Drace? And originally they were not like Saint Olms and Saint... What's the other one? Deline? Oh my god, I could totally see that. Right? But then when they decide, yeah, we just don't have the time to do the mainland and or Drace slash Indoril content. We'll just convert them to one of the saints and all that, right? I could totally see that. Totally buy that. Alright. Let's see. Where is this person's place? I mean, shit, we've never been here. Alright. Elven Nations Corner Club. Over is here. Is there something you need? Let's see. Here we go. Is it this house or on the lower level? This is it? Do a quick save just in case. All right. Yes, Outlander. Go ahead, what Outlander. Do what do you Who need? Who is this guy? <laughs> is this is this your friend, your partner? Who, who is this? All right. Adrino Arethi. Hey. No, Lyle Schnub, I don't believe we've met. My name is Adrino Arethi. I don't have any official title, but I handle House Lalu's business here in Vivek. Oh god, you know this is gonna be some shady shit when she doesn't even have an official title. Oh no. <laughs> uh, what do you have to say about House? Also, she has three things to say to us right from the get-go. Oh dear. Tell me about House Lalu. Yes, we both belong to House Lalu. Are you here to discuss business? Maybe. What kind of business? Yes, of course. I need a courier to deliver this sealed report. Sealed report? Take this sealed report to Baron Aelin, the clerk of the Hlalu Treasury in Vivek. Sealed report? Like I said, deliver the sealed report to ba Baron Aelin at the Hlalu Treasury. Tell me about the treasury. It's not far from here. Just leave my house and go north. The treasury connects to the vaults, the prison, and the records office. Okay. Huh. Let's head on up over here. Let's see, is this one of the ones that we can actually, like, crack into? Huh. Oh shit, where is it? Oh, treasury report. That's probably it. Do you want to break the seal and read the scroll? We quick save just in case this gets us kicked out. I don't mind if they know, right? You've broken the seal. Okay. Oh shit, it's in code. Oh fuck. Alright, let's see if there's any reactivity to the fact that we broke it open. <laughs> I want to know. Keep moving. Okay, over here. And it looks like it's on the lower level. Go ahead. There we are. Oh, whoops. Oh, jeez. Actually, it's on the upper level. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, who are we looking for? Baron something. Let's see. Over here? No. Yes, Outlander. What do you want? Here, maybe we can ask around for this person. Hmm. No, we cannot. We can ask about Adrino Arethi. Her home is in the Lalu Canton Wasteworks. What do you do here? Agent. Okay. Tell me about the treasury? Yes, this is the House Lalu Treasury. The northeast door leads to the prisons. The southeast door leads to the Lalu Records. Go downstairs if you want to see Baron Allen uh, or his assistants. Tanisi Ladri in the Hlalu vaults. Okay. Very well. Head on down here. Hopefully we don't get found out for our shit, but I feel like we most certainly are. 
Right, but I'm very curious to see what the reactivity will be. What do you think of our city, Outlander? Oh shit, wait, how do we go downstairs to it? Is it actually in here? In the vaults area? Oh. Go ahead, Outlander. Baron what Allen. Do you need? Maybe that's how you say it. Baron Allen, not Baron Allen. <laughs> Baron Allen. <laughs> Alright, it's Baron Allen. Welcome to Vivek Laoshnab. I'm Baron Allen. Are you looking for services in the sacred city? Maybe I can help. What's your background? You're a noble and oathman. All right. How about... Let's see, your trade. Let's hear what you have to say about being a noble of House Lalu. It seems like there's... Yeah, there's unique stuff depending on what you're a noble of. Ooh, we should definitely look into more of this, right? I am a noble of Great House Lalu. It is my privilege and pleasure to serve my house and clan as a leader and protector of its ancient prerogatives. In the grand mercantile traditions of House Lalu, I am a merchant prince. I concern myself with the wealth and influence of our house and strive to bring profit and wealth to myself, my retainers, and my humble clients and kinsmen. I serve at the pleasure of the clan and council, providing much, providing such public works and services as befits my station. All right, well, here's a sealed report. It got broke a bit. Take it. Is that report for me? Yeah, take it. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> the seal on this has been broken, Lyle Schnub. I will tell Adrano Arethi not to use you as a courier again. Oh, no. Sealed report? Let's let's talk about it again. Oh, I cannot. Oh shit. Let's not make this. Let's go back and see what they say. I'm very curious. We may have no more work from that person, you know? In which case we'll load our quick save. <laughs> Is there something you need? Okay. Cause I've never I've never actually gone through with delivering one that was intentionally broken. Right? I think every time I've died, I've just been like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna I'm going to quick save, read it, and if there's anything interesting, cool. Otherwise, I'm going to quick load. Okay. Let's see. Did you deliver the sealed report as I asked? I'm glad you delivered the report, but you should not have opened it. That kind of unreliability is why I must send my messages in code. Sealed report. You already delivered the sealed report, Lyle Schnub. Business? Oh, alright, we're good. We're good. We probably just took a disposition hit or something like that, or we didn't get as much of a reward as we could have. I need someone to collect a debt from Murudius Flaeus. Or Fla. Flaeus. 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 <laughs> Murudius Flaeus owes a house Lalu noble over 800 drakes and gambling debts. He lives in La Ode. Go there and get the drakes from him. If he refuses to give you the money, you can kill him. But if you get the money, you can keep half of it. <laughs> Great. Okay. Jesus. Tell me more about this person. Do you have the 800 drakes that Marudius Flaeus owes one of our nobles? No, not yet. Then do not waste my time. Go to La Ode and get Marudius Flaeus to pay the money. All right. Sealed report. Yeah, we've already heard about that. Very well. Who are you, by the way? Bratheru Aran. Welcome to Vivek Lyle Snub. I'm sure you have questions. What would you like to know? Background. You're a Nightblade and Retainer of House Lyle. Okay. How about your trade? Is it specific to House Lyle? Nah. Okay. Business? Do you have business? If you want to talk business, speak with Crassius Curio or Adrina Arethi. Oh, you don't have anything to say about her, even though she's right over there. What about Crassius? Counselor Crassius Curio has a splendid mansion in the plaza atop the Halalu Canton here in Vivek. Okay. How about... Hmm. I think we're good. All right, man, we got to go all the way out to Hla O. Fuck. Does the Strider take us out there? I think it does. Keep moving. Right? If you're here for trouble, you'll, you'll get, get more than you're bargained for. Huh? 
<laughs> we have yet to hear them say, We're watching you, scum. <laughs> when are we going to get some of that? Good lord. I don't think we got much of it during our first playthrough either. Okay. Let's head on over there. Yeah, we'll hit up the Strider. And I think it takes us to Hla'od. Right? Or am I... I always conflate Hla'od with Narmak. We may... That said, we may also be able to take a boat over there, right? We might be able to do that. Hmm. Alright. Should we just jump down here? Fucking... Just jump. There we go. Nailed it. Uh-oh. There's some sick fuck in here. Oh, it's a little fish lord. Ugh. Avoided. Deftly. Okay. Oh god, I'm a little stuck here. Let's do a quick save in case things go poorly and <laughs> wandering around here in the night. Okay. Should be fine. Right? What's the worst that could be out here? A kagooty? Nick sound? Alright. Over that away. Good. Lovely. And then... Yeah, if... If this goes to Narmok... I mean, I guess Narmok might be the closest we could get. If there's no way directly to Hla'od. But I'm pretty sure there's either... You can get to Hla'od either by Silt Strider or by Boat. I think. Eh, we'll see. We'll see. Wild that this is supposed to save Vivek, but, uh... It looks like there's a lot of extra characters here. <laughs> right? It looks like there's way too many characters on this obelisk for it to save Vivek. <laughs> what does this even say? Like, isn't that an O right there? Huh. What the fuck? And I don't think it said, like, Vec or anything. I don't know. Here, let's check up here and see if... If Laod is on the docket for your shit. Otherwise, it may legit be the boat, right? I forget. We should have kept track when we were back through here earlier, going to Ebenhart. Let's see. Travel. Nah, nothing. Okay. We make a special trip. Just let's see. I'm almost boat. certain we'll be able to take a ship around to Hla'od, right? I'm almost certain. Because that dude didn't even take us to Narmok. Maybe it's Narmok that you typically don't have passage to, right? I could see that being the case. Let's grab all this heather here just as well. Eat some of it, in fact. Mmm. Wow, all of them worked. Jeez. It's zero fatigue at that. Incredible. Alright, how much XP do we have in alchemy right now? Wow, 19! Thanks to our fucking work with just eating shit raw, huh? Wow, impressive. I would listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Okay, dude, let's go to- Oh, no! Maybe we can go- if we go to Ebenhart? We can, like, taxi from Ebenhart to Hla'od? Maybe? Let's see. Please take me to Hla'od, dude. <gasps> oh no. Okay. Let's see. What's this Let's load about? one of these quick saves here. Let's load this one where we were a bit closer. <laughs> Alright. Here we are. Oh no, we're not close at all. Oh god, what a grave error. There we go. Okay. What do you want? Hmm. I could have sworn there was some way we could get out there. But I guess not. Maybe the Strider can take you to one of them? Let's take the Strider. Right? If not, I guess we'll silt stride over to fucking Satanine or some shit, right? We'll go to- I mean, we're going to Satanine no matter what, because I'm pretty sure that's the closest we could possibly get. Alright. Travel. Let's take me take me to say Denine, if you will. We make a special trip a just for you. Same low price. Alright. And then 
Yeah, oh shit, we gotta walk the rest of the fucking way. Oh. It's like out and about around here, right? Or is that Narmok that's around here? Oh shit. <laughs> I always mix them up. I always mix them up. Oh fuck. Alright. You know what? We're going out and around that way. Hey, and you know what? We could possibly even encounter... Well, we'll definitely encounter Tariel or Tarhile, Tarheel, whatever their name is. And we could possibly make a run over to get the legendary ring, right? We don't really have a ring yet that's of high value or of high interest and all that shit, right? Yeah, I think we do that. I think we do exactly that. Okay. Yeah, when next we come back... We're going to set out on an incredible journey, an incredible trek across the land. We may be able to actually take the boat from Sedanine, but I feel kind of weird about using it right now at this early stage because I'm pretty sure that's added in by the mod, right? If we can take the, like taking any ship from Sedanine to anywhere that isn't modded content. And I don't really feel too good about you doing that early on. Maybe when we're later down the road and like, Fast travel isn't, or like getting around the world isn't such a big deal. But right now, it feels like too much of a big deal to make use of the modded content to sort of get around it, you know? But yeah, when next we come back, we're heading westward to Hla Ode, hopefully. <laughs> Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>